you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is shown at the right hand side of the screen which is an hexagonal pyramid and we are told to draw development of that hexagonal pyramid in our previous video we have constructed that of a cone now we want to look at that of a pyramid the difference between both of them is just whenever your base of your cone is not a circle any other shape aside from a circle you call it what a pyramid so the shape can either be hexagonal triangular rectangular depends so when the shape is not a circle the base of the cone is not a circle we call it a pyramid right now what you do first of all you start from the plan right so what i'll do is is this i will first of all draw my horizontal line this way i will draw it this way i'm going to draw it this way you can see that and i'll draw a vertical line too this way vertical line to this way you can see that and uh, we are told that um, if you look at this we're told 70 millimeter across flat right so i'll take half of it i'll take half of it which is 35 all right it is 35 here and i'll place it at the center here and i'm going to draw a circle faint line what I'll do first, faint line, and since we are told across flat, you're going to place your um, C square on your T square this way, right? And you're going to draw across flat in this manner at an angle of 30 degree. You draw an inclined line and you move it to the other circumference of the circle, you draw another one another inclined line you can see that and you turn it the other way around to face your right you repeat the same thing you do the same thing here across flat and here too across flat too you can see that now you take your T square and draw another horizontal line that will be touching that will be tangential to what to the circle. So it here, touching the other aspects. I'll come here too and I'll do the same thing. Tangential to it, touching the other aspect this way. You can see that. Then I'll take in this since I know exactly where I will end the line. So I'm going to what taking it since I know exactly where to end the line. I'll take in it since I know exactly where to end the line. I'll take in it. This way. From here, you can see that. Now this is across flat where the sides of the hexagon is touching the circumference of the circle. We say the hexagon is across flat. And we know hexagon is a polygon that is bounded by six equal line, right? And if you want to understand more on how to construct an hexagon across flat, you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here. Now let's proceed. Now what I'll do next is I am going to project this upward, my faint line, upward this way, and I'll project this upward this way. You can see that. Then I am going to close this two end here, from here to here, as long as it is not touching the other figure here, which is the plan here, as long as it's not touching it. And the height given here is given to be what? 88, right? 
so I'm going to measure 88 I'll measure what 88 from this point here so from this point here to this point here is 88 so this is 80 and this is 88 you can see that and I'll join from here to here faint line and I also join from here to here faint line all good now the next thing I'm going to do here is we're told that it is truncated at an height of 48 from the base here to this point here is 48 so I'm going to measure 48 from the base here to this point here is 48 here right so at this point it is truncated at an angle of what 45 degree so I'm going to take my 45 degree set square and I'll stand it this way and I'll move it to this point and I'll measure draw the arc in this manner the line the inclined line and I'll thicken it this way you can see that so if I've done that I can easily I can easily do this thicken the sides here right can easily take in this side here so this is what we have here this is what we have here so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw the development of this hexagonal pyramid and this is how i'm going to go about it so the development of this shape like i said earlier and i will place my compass at this point here the apex point of the pyramid then i'll take it to this point here you can see that then i'll draw um, an arc this way i'll draw what an arc this way so that arc i draw i will not take the ends of this let's say this point here this is one this is one this will be two. Here also will be what two, right? This will be three. Here will be three. And we have what four? We have one, two, three, four, three, two, one. That is what I'm going to mark around this um, arc here. So when I place it here, from zero, from one to two, I'll come here and I'll mark. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is three. This is two. This is one. All right. So we'll start from one. Then we start from this point. Here will be one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to join them using my set square this way. Then we'll join them using the straight line. This is an hexagon. I'll have this. I'll have this. I'll have this. And I'll have this. I'll have this. I'll have this. I'll have this. Right, this is what we have here. Then I'll take from this apex point and I will join all this point to the apex point of the pyramid. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. And so on. Right now, the next thing I'm going to do is to if I have point one here, this is means that this is point one, right? Also, and I'll take my compass from this point here and I'll take from point one with just one here and I'll draw a semicircle, I mean, an arc this way. So, where the arc. If I move from one, it's touching here one, and the other end here is also what one. So we have another point one here, 
right then now what will i do again i'm going to take my instrument this way right i'll take it to two all right place it at two here and i'm going to project it upward this way to touch the base of this way to touch the base of this pyramid here so that will be my point two and i'll reject it towards the center the apex point here you can see that so where it touches here i'm going to take it to the center this way I can only put it here to touch the center from here to the sides of what of the pyramid as you can see now that point is one so here will be what two then i will take my compass from that point to this point here and say that to point two and i'll draw another semicircle so we're Two meet two is at this point, right? So this is one, this is two, and similarly from this side, two is meeting two at this point, two, right? This is still my line two. I will go now. So two is meeting this two at this point, two here, and at this point here. Then the next thing is, I'll go to what? To three. I'll project the point of three this way. You touch the base here. Now it's touching the base, this point three. And I'll regate it, take it to this apex point of the pyramid. This is where 3 is meeting this line here, and it's incline point. And I'm going to use my instrument here, and I'll push that point to touch the sides of what? Of the pyramid. And that will be what? Point 3. Right? So I'm going to take my compass and take it to that point 3 here, where I'll draw and arc this way so where the arc 3 meet 3 look at the line of 3 meet 3 here the line of 3 here also meets 3 here because this is the line of the arc of 3 meeting the line of 3 this is 3 and this is what 3 right then the last one not the least is the point of 4 look at the point of 4 here coming here so I'll get it to the center here to have that 4 there in here right and this is the point four here and i'm going to reject it as i draw an arc from this point to four and i have this arc this way you can see that so where four is missing four here even four means four you can see that so i'll take my rule and connect those points together one to two a straight line Two to three, three to four, three to four, then two to three, then two back to one. You can see that? So since it's an hexagonal pyramid, all these lines here we join this, this one two we join this, this one two. We join this, these two, we join this, this also, we join this, because that is lines, just like here now, all this will be taken to, these two will also be what, taken here, all together, this is what we have here. Now we are not done. The next thing that we want to do, this is development of this hexagonal pyramid here that we have. Now the next thing we'll be doing is to draw the complete plan. So what will I do? Where this line is, we're having this line here, like this, we have this one. I'm going to project it downward. Right? From one, I'll take one downward. Is that the key? So where one meets one is at this point at the plan. Right? The next thing is I'll go to two. Take it down. Right? So when I take two, I will connect this point this way. And I also connect this point this way. 
I see that. Draw diagonals. So where one meets one is here. Where two, this is the line of two coming down. Where two meet two is here. Two meet two here and also two meet two here. This is two, this is two. Similarly, I'll come to three, this line three here. I'll draw a perpendicular line downward. So where three meet three is here. That's point three. In another word, point three here. Then I'll bring the four down. Right? So where four meet four is here, this is the point four. These points now, I'll join them together. This is how the plan will look like. This is how the plan will look like. You can actually click on this link at the top right corner here in order to look at the auxiliary projection of an hexagonal prism. Hexagonal what? Pyramid, right? So we have in this, we join it to here. And I'll come here to, I'll join from here to here. And I'll join from here to here. So this is what we have. If I like, I can actually just um, close here up with my five degree. Just to show that what I have there. That's it. That. that is how the plan will look like. This is where it is being truncated. So when, this is what we call the hexagonal what? Hexagonal pyramid, the development of it. And also we have the plan of it here, right? And most times it's not really necessary. If it is a closed part, you can also have one of the parts exposed here. What I mean is, with the same ridges of this you have here, which is the same thing as this here, three and four, three and two. I only come here and I'll strike an arc this way. I'll come here also, strike another arc. So where they meet at this point here, I'm going to draw semi. I'll draw a circle this way. So with the same ridges from three, I will mark. From four, I'll also mark. From that four here, I'll mark also. I'll place it here too. I'm going to mark. That'll give me my exact one. I'll just connect it together. Right, which is not really necessary, but you can just add it to it. Right, and just add it to it. So this is what we have here. So, not really necessary, but I just put it. So, this is what we have. So, if you have found this video helpful, you don't forget to subscribe like and also share the video thanks for watching